Yeah, I'll just wait for the queue with the sky. Ah, and a house weather po sa inyo. Actually po dito sa Tacloban, medyo cloudy. Opo, medyo cloudy po yung weather dito. Ah, uh, kanina umaga, medyo maulan din lang ha. Very nice weather. So sa inyo po, <laughs> kamusta naman po kayo diyan? So, uh Sabi ni Sir Lito, Alexa Salentino, may nakaline up pa po kayong mga webinars for July para makapag-prepare na po ako. <laughs> yes, of course. We have um, webinars lined up po. So, later after po ng discussion ni Sir Joshua, um, I will be sharing with you yung mga uh, scheduled webinars po natin. Medyo marami-rami. And actually po, tomorrow, we have a webinar on artificial intelligence. So, uh, sino pong nakapag-register na dyan? Uh, um, see you tomorrow. Uh, see you virtually uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will be having another webinar. 1 p.m. From 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. po yung webinar natin uh, sa artificial intelligence. Right? Yeah. Yes po, sa mga naka-receive na po ng, uh, ng certificate, uh, certificate namin, thank you po for joining uh, and having uh, for your interest po in joining uh, our webinar. Actually, we have lots of interesting topics ever since last, uh, last April, muna pa ng no, April pa lamang, we are already conducting a webinar. Diba? So as I mentioned, this is our 49th. Diba? So ang dami na. Ang dami na nang ginawa or or uh, nakandak na webinar ng EICT Visayas Cluster 2. And sakit na, uh, iba, June is a national ICT month. At hindi yun magtatapos sa June uh, yung mga webinars natin. We will still uh, be conducting more webinars on the following month. Alright? So I guess we need to start. Alright, so magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Thank you for joining us in today's webinar. My name is Hazel B. Martinez, a PDO2 and Tech Parade Coordinator for the ICQ Region 7 and Region 8. It is my great honor and pleasure to be your moderator for today's webinar. And yet, so in the past um, month, we have conducted uh, several webinars with interesting and helpful topics. So, this afternoon, we will give you another topic which is very interesting. But before anything else, please join us as we start this webinar with a prayer. Let us all welcome the IIDB coordinator of the ICT Region 8, ladies and gentlemen, Sir George Michael Picardo. Yeah, thank you, Ms. Hey, let us, uh, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge, Lord, your holy presence. We conduct another webinar. We ask uh, your guidance for the community and organizers for a full of learning and a successful webinar. We ask your wisdom for our speaker today as we impart this knowledge and ideas. Lord, as, uh, as we are in this difficult time, Lord, uh, we pray for those affected by this COVID-19 we pray for healing and restoration. We also pray for our frontliners. Cover them, protect them with your mighty hand, Lord. Uh, I also pray that you bring the needs of our government. We ask uh, to bless our nation with godly leaders. I magnify the name of Jesus and declare that he is the Lord over this nation. Surround us with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Help us not to fear, but to trust you in this situation. We thank you that you are the God of the impossible. You can do anything. We want to trust in your ability and not our own. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Sir George Michael, for the very beautiful prayer. Uh, thank you so much. And, of 
course, uh, before we proceed to our topic, I'm sure that you are excited. Uh, of course, we would like to acknowledge Muna as the most important guest in this webinar. Our participants from over the Philippines from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And of course, uh, nakikita ko kanina, we have some friends outside the Philippines from Riyadh, from Bahrain, who spend their precious time with us. Uh, in behalf of the IC people, maraming maraming salamat po. We appreciate your time and effort. And of course, I, I just uh, I would like to share lang po sa so webex po natin. Currently, we have 546 participants. And in Facebook Live, we have 429. And it's still increasing, di ba? So, ganyan uh, uh, tayo uh kumbaga um uh, uh, binabalik-balikan ng mga participants natin all right so thank you thank you uh, everyone for being with us as always and of course in uh, just a little housekeeping muna before we get started especially yung nasa webex po i need you to drop your concerns and inquiries in the chat panel and if you have questions naman please use the q and a panel all right uh, only those who remain in the webinar and answer the post evaluation survey will be given a certificate of attendance. And of course, the most important po sa lahat, di ba? Have fun while learning. All right. And for the FAQ naman po natin, uh, do you issue certificates for this webinar? Yes, na yes. Just make sure that you answer the post assessment survey after this session. Right. Next is how long will I receive the certificate? Please allow us to wait for us to send this through email. And of course, those participants naman na hindi pa po nakaka-receive ng certificates after two weeks or after three weeks, please, please, please. Uh, can I get a copy of the material? You yes, well, we will provide copies and send it along with your certificate. All right. And of course, I would like to share for your responses, Nathan. Amazing. <laughs> you know, we have reached 9,415 responses. So I think this is the first time, uh, yung first webinar namin na nakareach po ng ganitong responses. So, uh, maraming maraming salamat po. Diba? Uh, and, uh, for the gender naman, we have mostly female po, 79.6% uh, ang nag-respond po sa, sa, sa registration natin. So, mostly female. And 20.4% 20, po uh, sa mga male. All right. And for the affiliation, mostly teachers po ang nag-sign up sa registration natin ng, uh, sa, sa webinar na po. Okay. And these are our uh, respondents. So from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao po were represented, and of course, other countries po. All right. So maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Okay. And of course, to kick off uh, this event, because I'm excited na. Kanina pa akong excited. Uh, imagine we start at 1.30 and waiting for the participants. So to start this event, let us hear muna. A welcome remarks from our ever dynamic and supportive director to officially open this webinar. Ladies and gentlemen, let us call on the regional director of BIC to Region 7 and Region 8, Director Leo Cepillano L. Orvis Sindoji. Hello, director. Hi, Paul, director Leo. Hi. Hi. Hi all right. Okay, good day, everyone. I hope you are all safe and I wish you well. As we face this global pandemic that has affected our normal lives, we are now the new normal. Our usual life may not be the same as it has been before, and it may take for us you know, for a while to return to normal. But this doesn't mean that we will stop learning. The, the, the ICT under Visayas Cluster 2 is proud to give you another webinar offering that will help you gain additional knowledge and learn new things outside the four walls of the classroom or in your office. 
Everyone is welcome here. If you're a student, an FW, an employee affected by the current situations and all walks of life, wherever you may be and whatever the re is the reason that brought you here to listen and learn, you are very much welcome. I wish at the, at the end of the day, of today's discussion, I mean, you will impart knowledge and contribute to your society and your community, especially that we are a digitally disrupted world. The recent saving says, we win this one, and I think COVID tells us, we this one, here in our webinar, let us learn as, as one. Our topic is very, very exciting for today, and I hope that you can learn a lot from this. Thank you very much for participating today. And in behalf of the ICT GC2, I welcome you all to this webinar once again. Good afternoon. Maupay nga kulok. When I start this, magandang hapon, magandang hapon. Thank you so much, Director Leo Cipriano L. Augusto Jr., our very active director po ng DICT Region 7 and MMD. So actually, yung mga webinars also, uh, namin, of course, it's through the efforts of our director. Uh, thank you for always challenging uh, us po, uh, for giving this very insightful topic. Diba? So, of course, thank you so much, Director, and more power. And now, and now without further ado, it is my great pride and honor to introduce to you our research teacher for this afternoon. Okay. So actually, our research teacher finished CS Information uh, Technology from St. Paul University, Dumaguete, in 2012. Currently, she is on thesis for Master of Development Communication, Master of Information Systems at University of the Philippines, Open University. She is one of the 10 outstanding students of the Philippines of Central Visayas 2012, and one of the 30 outstanding students of the Philippines 2012 National, with awarding help in the Malacanang Palace. He represented the country as a delegate in various international conferences, including Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, and India. He worked as a technical support engineer in the IT operations department of a technology company in Dumaguete City for more than four years and worked as a part-time university instructor teaching IT subjects for more than five years. Currently, she is a project development officer at the Department of Information and Communications Technology Visayas Cluster 2 under the ICT Industry Development Bureau and a recent YouTuber known as the Pambansang IT Guy who discusses tech tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, it is all welcome our resource Speaker for this afternoon, Joshua Alizar Gomez. Yes, thank you, Miss Hayes. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, thank you very much. Um, am I loud and clear lang now? Okay lang. Clear. 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 Loud and clear. Okay. So yes. Yeah, so let's do this. Um, allow me to present my screen. Uh. Kita no? Kita ang screen ko? Yes, for sure. Clear. Okay. Okay. So, good afternoon, everyone. This is my fourth um, webinar already um, under the Learn 2 series. Palagi tayong, tama yung sinabi mo, Ms. Hayes, no? Palagi tayong challenge ni Derek. But also, we are also um, getting suggestions from our participants. And ito nga, this is one of those na ni-request nila um, about Gmail, especially May mga teachers din tayo no, na gamit nila Gmail and they are now venturing into um, blended learning. And I believe na mga teachers natin, Gmail din ang gamit nila or some of them or most of them under the DepEd na um, domain. Tama ba? Gmail ba gamit nila? But anyways, um, please let me know if, um, if mabilis lang ako masyado. Um, kasi bibilisan ko pa. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. But, uh, Ms. Hayes, huwag mo kong iwan ha. Please let me know if um, I should uh, team my pacing. Sure po na ba? Okay. Para maana naman. I, I understand kasi meron din tayong mga participants na beginners in using Gmail 
or meron silang Gmail but they are not uh, um, using it that much. Ngayon lang na merong um, blended kind of learning and online transactions. So, um, so please let me know. Please let me know lang if I am too fast. But I am hoping that we can cover a lot for this afternoon. So this disclaimer lang sa um, may nangingi na no? kagad kanina ng presentation slides for this afternoon. Disclaimer lang, wala po ako ang presentation na pinipare kasi um, fully hands-on um, tutorial po tayo ngayon. But I will try my best to um, to summarize everything and I might make um, presentation slides after. But throughout the presentation, wala po. Okay? So... And dito na tayo sa ating web browser. So I'm using Google um, Google Chrome as my web browser. And so of course, um, our topic is Gmail. And I would just like to share no, na um, Gmail started in 2004, so more or less 15 years na sila no, the industry. And it was around um, kaka graduate kula ng elementary no, nung pumasok sa scene ang Gmail. During that time, ang mga sikat na emails are Yahoo Mail, Hotmail, until Gmail entered the scene from just being um, a search engine na Google, pinasok or nag-venture din sila into, a, into the email. So, um, just a quick fact. Um, Gmail actually has 1.5 billion monthly users. So if you could imagine 1.5 billion users and they have 20% share of the entire email client industry in the world today. So that's how powerful Gmail is. It was in 2006 na Gmail was, um, was developed into a mobile app. And right now, I believe most of you, I think, um, there, according to statistics, there is 75% of Gmail users who are into um, the mobile application. So right now, um, I understand there are beginners and there are also um, advanced users already, but they want to refresh their mind or and, and their skills in hovering Gmail. So that's what we are going to do today. Okay? So sana mabalansa natin no, ang beginners and ang advanced. So, Ms. Eva, please let me know lang um, if I am going too fast or too slow then. Okay. Now, um, okay, let us start. Of course, diba, um, this is our URL for um, going or to logging in our um, Gmail. Remove to, to para malinis. Yan. So this is um, our login interface for Gmail already. So say for example, I'm gonna log in my personal Gmail, but I will be using multiple um, Gmail accounts for today. Kasi um, iba-iba kasi ang features, just like yung isang um, email address natin um, for our work, um, which is... Um, um, so government, we are actually hosted to Gmail. No, that's how trusted G, um, um, Gmail is in terms of um, in terms as an um, email. So, ang government natin nag-migrate na po tayo into having Gmail as our host for our email account. So, merong ibang features like merong limited features dito sa personal, merong the limited features sa um, government na email. So I will um, log in um, multiple accounts. Actually, I have more than five um, Gmail accounts. Okay, so I'll log in my personal muna, no? So, okay, meron nag-answer din na DepEd is using Gmail. Yeah, actually, most uh, or if not all um, government agencies and GAs and I'm not sure with LGUs, but I think most of them also are have already adapted to uh, Gmail. So, okay. Now, for my personal um, Gmail account, oh, 
actually na login ko na to sa dito na but I'll try in incognito para makita nyo ang isang advanced feature when you are logging in. So by the way, you can change no kung um kung sa, sa Gmail interface nyo ang um, Filipino sa or English, pwede nyo ma-change ang language na through this um, area here. So now, this is one good feature about Gmail kasi um, I have enrolled my um, account sa two-step verif verification. So this is um, a security um, strategy of Google. And hindi lang actually Google, there are also other sites that employ this kind of um, um, security. No? Na, um, like there is another device down na naglalag in sa, sa, dito sa device na to. And I have set it um, a functionality wherein um, ipaprompt ako sa cellphone ko, nakikita ba? I think masyadong um, maliwanag, no? But um, dito sa cellphone ko, na pinrompt ako na um, ako ba tong nagsasign in dito sa laptop na to? So I have to confirm it from my cellphone. And there is, um, di siya makita, but there are options here na the question is, is it you trying to sign in and um, I can answer through yes or no, it's not me. So I can choose the option. So, so I will know na there is someone who is trying to log into my account. So I'll press yes because it's ako itong gumagamit. And ayan na. na ako because I confirmed it through my cell phone. So if you want to do such kind of um, technique, yang um, yang two um, two step verification then just go to this site um, actually you can just search it google two step verification or you can directly go to google.com slash landing slash two step so from there, um, dito po itong get started. Pwede nyo na po i-enroll ang inyong um, cell phone or inyong tablet, inyong mobile device, ang iPhone nyo para ma-prompt po kayo na there is someone trying to log in or is it you who is trying to log in kasi um, hindi makakalog in doon sa laptop or any device if walang confirmation from your enrolled um, device na you can actually, uh, or that is actually you who is trying to log in. So, ayan po, it was hacking. So, that's one po, when you are trying to log in. Now, as I have mentioned, I have po, um, I have more than um, five Gmail accounts. So, if you want, actually, um, sa Google na browser, you can add more accounts para hindi na kayo mag-log out pa or sign out. So, dito lang po yan sa, ito pong may account picture nyo na. And then, click on add another account. And it will lead you to another um, login page. So, by this time, I'm gonna log in my, um, my work email. And so, if you could see, no, um, our domain is at bitt.gov.ph. This is a government um, email. And we have already migrated. We, we had a different platform before, and it was a, a couple of months ago na nag-migrate na po kami sa Google or sa Gmail. So that's one good, um, um, one thing good about um, Gmail or Google kasi um, it is trustworthy. So even governments, not only the Philippine government, but all other governments and all other companies are actually using or they're, they're having Google as their host for their um, email domain. So wag na wag nyo pong i-click itong may i. 
<laughs> kasi masusho po ang password nyo. So in in my one browser, I have I actually have multiple, di ba? I can hover to multiple Gmail accounts and if you want to add another one then the same. Dito po sa inyong um yung may accounts picture nyo and so yeah, I'll try to uh, log in another um email. So did you know na yung pag-login nyo kanina no, if you are already um, a Gmail account, there is no need for you to um, to put the at gmail.com for as long as you are um, a Gmail user no, like hindi naka-host like um, sa amin dict.gov.ph, kailangan namang i-include yun but if you are just using the gmail.com um, domain, then there is no need for you to include that when you are um, logging in. So kahit yan lang, ano babasa na yan ng gmail. Okay? Sige. Now, um, so as you can see, no, meron akong one email. This is for my personal, the second tab. Is for my um, for work, and the third one is for another um, another email account. Now, um, ito itong third one. Oh, by default, um, wala siyang themes, correct? So as you can see, my first merong parang background sa second, merong another um, theme to sa. And if you want to add a theme, so that's just easy. You just go to um settings then either there are two ways the first one is um if you click on the gear na icon no? itong nasa upper um upper right yan ang gear gear icon natin yan ang naglalaman ng mga settings natin um there is already quick settings um mga usual settings na um uh mino modify or kino customize ng users but um there is also see all settings so for the theme, you can do it a quick settings. So, makikita nyo lang ang theme. Dan. And so, you can choose your theme. And um, you can pick your theme. But the longer way is dito din sa see all um, settings. And dito sa general na tab. I mean, not, really, not, not the general na tab, but dito sa last na tab. Meron pong separate um, themes na. So you can set your own theme. Kung gusto nyo medyo um, artistic ang interface ng inyong, um, inyong Gmail na interface. Now, for um, for mobile users, no, um, did you know that you can actually, um, you can... You can change your um, Gmail na mobile application into um, a dark theme. Di ba uso ngayon ang naka-dark no? Kahit YouTube may dark na. Ang Facebook may dark theme na ba? Mukhang wala pa no? Um, even ang SMS pwede no? If you are using Android 10 and uh, or Android, Android 10 ang inyong um, cellphone, you can do that by going sa Gmail itself. And meron tayong hamburger na minunoy, yung nakikita ba? And nandyan sa upper left. And you hover down sa settings. And dyan sa general settings. So, yung pinakaunang option na theme, merong options na light, dark, and system default. So, light means white background. And um, the dark, of course, is the, parang naka-night mode siya. So, pakita ko ang kanya. So parang ganito sa. So if you want to change into um the dark mode or night mode. 
Now, um, this only is for Android 10 users. So, kung wala siya sa Gmail nyo, then perhaps um, kailangan ng upgrade bagong cellphone. I'm, I'm not sure if this is also available sa um, iPhone users, no? Sa iOS na users, but I, I think meron din. Can someone answer ba? Hindi kasi ako maka iOS. But I think meron din night mode or dark mode. So, you can try to check on that sa Gmail mobile app nyo. Okay? Now, um, next, um, I want you to see, um, I want you to compare ha, um, my two emails, so itong second at saka um, third um, Gmail ko. Meron ba kayong nakikita ng difference in terms of the interface, the inbox interface? Ito, ito ang second one. And ito ang third one. Do you see any difference sa comparison? So the answer is, of course, meron pong difference. So kung nakikita nyo, no, meron akong um, um, separate pin itong nasa gitna. Nakikita ba cursor ko? So, um, if I would um, click on a certain message sa inbox ko, it will display um, a separate pane, reading pane, no? dito sa gitna. And if you would compare it sa third um, um, Gmail account ko, um, I have to click individually the message or I have to click each one para makita ko kung ano ang um, content ng certain um, ng certain message na yun. So, if you want to have this kind of um, interface na there's no need for you to click on every message um, to, to show the content, dapat pag ano ko, pag click ko meron na dito sa gitna, um, you can do so by doing this one. Sige ha, makinig po. Si baka hindi na po makasunod. So it's either dito ulit tayo sa gear and makikita nyo po, no, pag, pag hover nyo or pag scroll down nyo sa baba, merong reading pane. No? Um, you can choose this one. No split, by default, it is no split, yung kagaya ng by default nung itong um, email na to na wala siyang reading pain but if you want na yung kagaya ng isang email ko then you can choose um, right of inbox and naglo-load ulit and ayan na nakikita na ang um, reading pain so you can adjust kung gano'ng kalaki or gano'ng kaliit for every um, pain so pwede po yan Pwede din na uh, naka um, horizontal sa no? So, ang mga messages or mga preview ng messages nasa taas while ang content talaga ay nasa baba. Pwede din yan. So, that is the value of having a reading pane. So, nasa quick settings lang yan but if you want to know the um, long cut, hindi short cut, no? Um, nandito po yan sa general ah, nasa inbox ko sa nasa inbox and then nandito i-over nyo lang sa reading pane and dapat naka-enable po sa so the same um the same options na nandun din sa quick settings na menu, no split, right of inbox, and below below inbox yung parang um, horizontal. So, later on, since nandito na tayo sa settings, no, um, we will one by one, if kaya ng time, um, into each one kung ano ang functionalities ng different settings na nandito. Okay? So, if kaya ng time, then we can um, over each one. Okay? 
So let me proceed with my presentation. Okay. Ibalik ko po sa gusto kong nasa right side ang um, reading pane ko. Eh. So ayan. So by default, kung walang naka-select na um, message, no? Kung walang naka-select dito, um, makikita kung ilan ang um, natitirang um, storage ng inyong Google na account. So by default, meron tayong 15 gigabyte for um, for a usual account, but sa amin, sa government, we are given 30 gigabytes no, of storage. But you can actually, um, you can upgrade. I think um, ang highest is 100 terabytes. I forgot kung ilan ang maximum na pwede sa, uh, mag, uh, pwedeng um, lumaki ang storage mo up to 100 terabytes. Uh, I forgot. Actually, that is, um, I have discussed that uh, Google Drive na webinar last May something. So, meron bang, um, may bang sumali dito na, na kompleto na. So, this is actually my fourth Learn to series. So, the first one was HTML followed by um, Google Drive, then Google Forms, and then um, this one, this is the fourth one. So, Ayan, may nag-answer na I have paid 1 terabyte to Google Drive. So I think um, um, Google really is, um, uh, helps you in your day-to-day -day life. So umabot ng 100 terabytes ang inyong subscribe. So yeah, that is actually possible. So dun sa mga nakasali na, um, and I think for me, no, the pricing, um, the pricing for me is way, way cheaper, cheaper, cheaper compared sa ano sa ibang um, emails and yeah meron din tayo nag comment i think teacher no from DepEd I'm um, using G Suite for education correct uh, oh, oh you have unlimited storage wow ang swerte naman ng mga taga DepEd no especially ngayon that is really um um a big help no na, na nasa pandemic tayo so um i hope for the teachers no you are making use of um, your Gmail um, account um, wisely, no? Sayang ang um, storage. If, if kami mabigyan yan, so we will be very uh, happy. So congrats sa that end. <laughs> Sana kami rin. And I think G Suite for business then, um, yeah, meron ding unlimited um, storage capacity. Okay, so let's go back and We will go now to composing an email. Okay? So when we compose an email, um, wag na lang tong sa DICP. Dito na sa personal. So when we compose an email, no? Um, so of course, I think, you know, you that's the basic knowledge when you compose na dito sa the left side. So by default, ang lalabas na view is ang um, pop-out view. So ito sa parang maliit lang. Parang yung nasa ano no, parang sa Facebook na desktop din no. Um nasa um lower right side and then pwede ma minimize. But we can also enlarge that and this is what we call as our full screen view. Yeah, so this is our Full screen view, so ang complete na interface when you compose a Gmail message is there. Pwede natin ibalik sa pop-out kung, say for example, um, may tinatype kayo but you have to go back to another um, message. So pwede na pop-out. Ready to tayo. Now, um, okay. So, did you know there is actually a secret? No, um, um, I think this is an open secret. Um, I think some know this already, but some might have not known it. But um, Gmail disregards periods or dots sa, um, sa email accounts or Gmail accounts. 
So this work lang for ano for gmail.com na users. So say for example, um my personal email is losdomain@gmail.com. So my personal email is justdomen at gmail dot com. But if I actually, if I put um a period there, or anywhere like multiple periods or multiple dots, um it will be sent still to the same um justdomen at gmail dot com account. Um it will um. Gmail actually disregards um, periods and dots, so kahit na meron yan or wala, it will still be uh, sent to the same recipient. And this only works for at gmail.com na domain na hindi to sa mga nakakos sa Gmail like at dict.gov.ph or at deped.gov.ph. And if you ask why, dini disregard ng um, Gmail yan, well. There is no actually concrete reason why um, they have employed such functionality, but um, this works well, especially if, um, say for example, meron ng hingi ng email sa inyo, no? and malalaman nyo kung um, binenta na ang inyong email or sinend na sa iba, so makakatanggap ka ng spam email, so you will know because um, parang malalaman mo kung saan nang galing kasi ito yung nilagay ko nilagyan ko ng period dito when I, when I applied for this or when I registered for this so um that is a technique to know sino ang nagbigay ng um email account mo to a certain spammer so yeah the next um you know the difference naman of CC and BCC correct um, although this is not only present to Gmail alone, but this is also present to um, all other um, emails or email platforms. So, of course, CC is, let's say, um, sinong papadalan mo na dapat siyang ma-notify. Although he, he or she is not the main recipient but if you want to uh, notify him or her about um, a certain message or a certain email then you include him or her sa cc or carbon copy and how about bcc Para saan ito? this is the blind carbon copy so say for example this is what we actually do sa, um, sa mga webinars namin um, say for example, I so itong mga recipients sa BCC, they will receive the message, but they will not know um, who are the other recipients. Sempre de ba? Um, are actually not allowed to um divulge um our email addresses to anyone or everyone kasi yan nga pwedeng mas spam or mas send ng spam so um if you want na hindi mabasa ng lahat ng recipients mo like parang um parang para sa individual separate uh, message na sa although you have sent it to many recipients then what you do is you bcc it Okay, so that's very important, especially if you do events na madami kang sesendan. So it so happened na, na um, yun nga, hindi, merong hindi naka-BCC um, for a certain organization and nalaman nung um, may isang spammer na nag-send sa isang user, no? And tinanong niya kung saan niya nakuha ang email and Sumagot din naman ang spammer kasi parang nag-networking si spammer. Um, please go to this link, ganyan, ganyan. 
and tinanong si spammer kung um, paano niya nakuha ang email and yun nga um, very honest naman si spammer parang innocent din naman siya um, nakuha niya dun sa mga recipients list dun sa message na they both belong to as recipients so careful lang um, para hindi ma-share ang ibang um, email addresses so i-BCC niyo po okay now next, um, ito po ang subject. This is actually very important. So, may, madami kami na receive na um, uh, messages, no, na walang subject. And for other, um, for other private um, organizations or companies, they are very strict on this. If walang subject, they would not mind um, checking on the message so pro tip lang po or not really pro tip but that's an email etiquette a general email etiquette na to really include a subject because it will give um it will tell the recipient kung what is your email for so it's just a summary so it doesn't need to be um, a long paragraph but at least um a cliffhanger or at least um, something that would prompt or tell the recipient kung what your message is all about. So email etiquette. Po. There is actually, um, you can search on, um, you can search on the web or you can Google it actually kung anong importance and subject. And there are tips on how to, um, how to do the best um, email subject or what should be included in, um, um, in a subject, what is personal? So, say for example, you are um, applying for a certain job, tapos wala kang subject, so chances are um, hindi yan i-accommodate -a ng um, employer if walang subject. So, please always include po a subject. May natatanggap din kaming messages, no, na um, may, um, ang content na dapat nasa body nilagay sa subject. So, wala siyang subject. So, um, all other contents na sa subject na. So, that is a no-no po according to uh, the general email etiquette. Okay? Now, next is the signature. Diba? So, dito sa um, GovMail ko na account, um, I have my own signature, so every time na magko-compose ako, so minimize ko, uh, i-zoom out ko lang. So every time magko-compose ako, meron na siyang automatic na signature. No? So you can do that by going here, ito na, itong toolbar na nasa bottom left, so itong pinakalas, insert signature, so manage signatures, And ayan po, mag-open po siya sa settings. So you just have to create your own signature. So create new. So you first you have to name first your signature. And then from there, you can now uh, modify. Lalagyan nyo ba ng respectfully yours? Lalagyan nyo ba ng um, picture? Then you can set for new email. So don't forget to click. Uh, yung Joshua sign ang ilagay nyo. So, yan. For those who do not have signatures yet. Okay, so, nasa general settings din sa and then nasa signature. But if you want it um, done easily, then ito po sa nasa ilalim. So, manage. Manage signature. Kinakalas. Now, just recently, um, dito tayo sa body, no? Balik tayo sa body. Just recently, um, Gmail has employed a new functionality. Diba sa Facebook, no? um, when you um, mention someone or when you tag someone, um, you press in the character na at, correct? So dito sa Gmail, they just um, recently um, employed this functionality na pwede din na mag-mention sa email. 
So, pwede nyong i-mention si first email dito. Like, hi, email. So, say for example, magsasend kayo to multiple, no? Um, please do this. Yan, tapos, si hi, another email. Oo. Please do quality analysis or quality check. So, pwede na po yan sa Gmail. And even without me including them, so sa to natin, sa recipients natin, um, once masend natin to sila, makakangatanggap din sila ng the same email for as long as um, nakamention sila through at. So, pwede po yan. That's a new functionality. Okay? Now, um, so, dito na po tayo. Ito ang ating um, compose toolbar. So, of course, ang undo meron. Meron ding redo. So you can choose your font. Of course, I think that is already um, a general knowledge that you can change your font. You can change um, the way you present your text. It could be small, normal, large, and huge. Pwede din siyang mabold, italic, underline, and pwede siyang ma-change ang text color or even ang background color. But by default, that's um, black text over white background. Pwede, pwede din yan. Alignment, of course, there is left. Um, center and line right. Pwede ding numbered bullets or bulleted list. Then pwede kayong mag-include ng indention. Um, then meron din tayong quote. So when you, um, say for example, you have a certain text, then you want it to be presented na quoted siya because someone has quoted this, then pwede nyo siyang i- click lang itong si code. Okay, so para sa mag meron siyang vertical bar na mag ano. Then pwede din naka-strike through. So say for example, yan. And itong last naman na toolbar is to remove the format. So kung meron kayong format dyan, you can press on this. Okay. So that is actually the, um, this is the rich text mode. So there are two modes when you compose an email message. So this is the first one, rich text mode, wherein um, um, this formatting, text formatting are, are um, is supported, while the other one is plain text mode, wherein mawawala tong toolbar na to kasi purely text lang sa um, most especially if you are um, after the size, no? You want it minimal. So, pwede siyang naka um, plain text mode and you do that by hovering sa three dots button natin. And itong plain text mode. So, mawawala si um, compose toolbars natin. So, madideactivate yung mga formatting. Okay? Okay, since nandito na din tayo, Sa three dots mode, then um, later on I will explain labels. So you can actually print your document, you can check your spelling, and um, later on I will um, tell you about this smart compose feedback. Okay, now. Um, Dito naman tayo sa sending natin, no? So, um, akala lang natin, no, na um, purely send lang ang option natin sa Gmail, but there are actually um, other ways um, when sending. No? There are also functionalities when sending. So, sino ba nakapanood dito nung um, KMJS last week? Hindi, hindi last night, but last week. Di ba? Parang may segment doon na um, 
um, yung deceased father niya daw, no? Um, nakapag-email pa sa kanya. Even if, yun nga, namaya pa na ang papa niya. But when that was actually um, being teased, no? Um, yung hindi pa um, pinalabas yung segment na yun, parang nasa commercials pa din. And even if... Um, o oh, parang nasa commercial pa sa I already knew na um, walang kababalaghan di umano doon oo kasi I knew it um from I knew it already na pwede mag schedule then so that's one um functionality na pwede sa Gmail so sige error daw kasi wala pa akong um recipient so sige mag send tayo sa isang email Um, you can schedule send wherein um, a message no um, is sent to the recipient when you set the the date and time. So yun po um, can pick um, a date and time. So pwede bukas, pwede some other day. So kahit um, Nag-expire ka na, na maya pa ka na, meron kang huling habilin through Gmail. <laughs> Wag naman po sana nung no, God for me. But, pwede po yan. And then, say for example, nakasend po kayo no, ng um, um, scheduled uh, message at gusto nyong i-edit or i-delete, pwede po yan dito sa ating um, labels. Meron tayong scheduled. So, Pwede po yan dito. So like, ika-cancel nyo or i-delete, i-edit. Pwede. Cancel. So dito lang po sa left side. Okay? At mag-open ang inyong uh, composing email na interface. You need to say um, you will edit or update your um, email. Kasi kinancel nyo ang scheduled send. Eh. Okay? Now, um, since nakita na din kanina, no, um, magsasend po ako ulit ha, tapos I want you to um, focus your attention sa bottom left side ng um, Gmail interface ko ha. Ito. Diba? May nag-pop out na undo. So actually, you can undo your message by clicking on that part and um, you can set kung ilang seconds yung pwedeng i-undo. Especially, no, um, say for example, may nakalimutan kayong i-attach or uh, may nakalimutan kayong um, i-include, pwede nyo pang i-undo yun. But you can set how long it should be um, undone. So, by doing this. So, now the setting. Uh, settings, general, and undo send. So, Tatanong kayo, um, send cancellation period. So, mag appear yung parang pop-out no, sa baba, sa bottom left, for you to have the chance to undo your message. Makikipag-break uh, na daw kayo no, sa um, girlfriend nyo or boyfriend nyo uh, through email. Tapos, um, naisipan nyo na cancel na lang, wag na lang makipag-break kasi bumabalik ang memory. Pwede nyo pong i-undo yan. Through this option, and by default, it is five seconds na um, range, but you can uh, modify up to 30 seconds po. So, meron 30 seconds thinking time, 20 seconds thinking time, 10 seconds, pwede din five ang default. Okay? Now, aside sa... So aside dito sa schedule send, meron meron pang another option. So, 'di ba, merong arrow, no? 
sa katabi ng send na button, pwede pa natin niyang dagdagan ng isa pang option. And that is by going to your gear icon again, then see all settings, and then um, sa general, over it down sa send and archive, no? So, once you click on show send and archive button reply, then um, it will have another option when sending a message. Okay, so don't forget na you have to save it always sa bottom part or else um, such modifications will not um, be reflected. So when you compose again and you click on the um, Okay. Ni refresh ko lang kasi ayaw niya mag-reflect. Okay, ayaw sa account na so but in my other account Well, anyways, yung archive po na um, settings, um, it allows you to, after sending a certain message, um, th um, that, um, that thread or that email um, message will go to the archive na, um, um, na folder. So, when you mean archive, para sa ano, um, it doesn't appear in your inbox. No? It, it, it is still in your, um, um, nasa email nyo pa rin siya, but it does not appear in your um, inbox. Naka-archive kasi siya. Parang ano lang din, no? kung may mga Instagram accounts kayo, um, when you archive it, it doesn't mean that you delete it. It doesn't appear in your um, feed, in your IG feed anymore, but it's still there. Pero nakatago lang. So, let me figure out, but ayaw niya magpakita. Na-save ko ba yan? Ah, okay, that is fine. Sige po. Try ko sa ibang email account. Okay, yun. Okay. Wala pala siya sa um, composing but rather sa reply. Correct, tama. So, say for example, um, hanap ako ng mga hindi confidential na hindi, huwag na lang dyan. Dito na lang. So, if you can see sa reply ko, um, sa reply composition ko, no, there is another um, button no? It means na i-archive ko na sa. And as what I've explained a while ago, uh, mawawala sa sa inbox nyo, but it doesn't me mean that it has been deleted forever, but parang tinago nyo lang. Archive. And there is also another, um, because commonly, um, commonly, no, um, archiving is um, parang na minute communicate sa with muting, no? Archive and mute a certain message. So the difference between the two is um when you archive a message um if someone re replies if someone replies to that certain 
um, email, um, babalik siya sa inbox nyo. Okay? But when you, when you mute the same um, email, mawawala siya sa inbox nyo, although hindi pa din sa madidelete, but when there is um, another action like may nag-reply, um, hindi siya magpapakita sa inyong inbox. So that's the difference between the two. Kasi commonly they are um, interchange no archiving and muting. So that's the difference. Okay. Now um, let's go now to the labels. So, so pakita ko. Ha? So Gmail natin, um, di ba we are familiar with File Explorer natin sa Windows no? na naka-folders. So sa Gmail natin, ang let's say, ang sort of um, folders natin is ang labels. So you can, um, there are different labels ako. Like um, for me, I have an inbox for my Bohol na activity, for the Magete activity, for Lorena. So all other messages related to my Bohol activity, nilalagay ko dyan para kung say for example magsa-search ako it will be easier for me pupunta na lang ako dito sa parang um, folders natin equivalent so sa labels natin then all other messages related to this certain group ay nandiyan na and you can add more um, labels you can change the colors um pwede niyo ma-drag kung ano ang first ano ang second so pwede kayo maka-remove so Nandyan siya sa right, no? I mean sa left. But if you want the full um, control about um, the labels, nandun, nandun pa rin siya sa gear na icon, sa see all settings, and sa labels na tab. Okay? Yan. So, you can choose which one to hide and which one to show sa labels nyo sa left um, side pane nyo. If you want to create a new label, so pwede din yun. Okay? Now, um, I would like to give you um, a pro tip, no? Um, di ba when we attach files, we commonly uh, use this button, itong paper clip button, no? So attach files. And this works for um, 25 um, um, MB maximum only, no? Correct for files. And one technique actually, no? Para hindi mabawasan ang inyong storage capacity, di ba? Especially for those na may um, personal accounts lang na 15 gig ang capacity and you're after the storage kasi hindi pa muna afford, just like me, hindi ko muna afford um, mag-expand um, to a wider storage, one technique para hindi mabawasan na inyong capacity is not by using this attach files, but rather attaching using the drive. So yes po, when, when you upload using, um, or when you insert files using Google Drive, um, hindi po mababawasan ang inyong storage. Okay? Yes po. But um, the only thing about this Google Drive now is it sends or, or, or it gives a link, no? Rather than um, attaching um, a specific file. Now, so let's go to the buttons na. Um, if you want to insert a link, so ito lang po, itong second. Kita ba? Do I have to zoom it in? Yeah. Um, ito. So say for example, you want to include um, a link to your Facebook account, then um, you just highlight that and you press on it. So automatic na, na magka-create magka ng link. Or if you want to change the target URL, so pwede din. So parang kung nasa Facebook kayo, then... Um, i-copy nyo lang yung URL na nandito no, sa address bar and you paste it there. So, pwede yan. Customize. And you insert a link. And also, um, meron din pong emojis ang um, Gmail. 
So, ayan po. Hindi lang po Facebook or Messenger ang may emojis. Meron din po uh, um, Gmail. But of course, if you have um, a formal message to send, I think it is not um, good to include emojis. It depends kung close kayo ng sasenda nyo. Then pwede. So, I have um, already explained this. So, um, also, inserting picture. Then, itong confidential mode on or off, um, this allows you to send um, a message na para sang encrypted and they, um, ang, recipient, ang recipients nyo hindi pwedeng ma-forward, ma-copy, ma-print, ma-download. Um, ang certain email or certain message nyo and you can set the expiry kung kailan mawawala yung message na yun. You can also set um, an SMS passcode. Pwede din yan. If you turn on the um, confidential mode, either on or off. And pwede din, of course, mag-insert ng signature. I think this, I have explained this already a while ago. Okay? Now, um, actually, Gmail or Google itself has employed or has invested a lot of artificial intelligence um, functionality sa search. So, hindi lang to basta-basta search box, no? itong search natin sa taas. Meron to mga um, super AI. So, tomorrow pala merong AI na... Um, webinar. I think that is spearheaded by Ms. Hazel. Yeah, so inviting you once again. So, ano po to? Intelligent AI po to. Um, say for example, um, nag-type nag ako ng hello, no? And as you can see, the search results, um, Sa preview niya, wala kayong magkikita like for this first one, two, three, four. For this first four na um, search results, wala kayong magkikita ng hello na um, text. But um, there is chance or there, is, there are um, text there na may hello. Okay? Kahit wala sa subject but nandun sa content. And even other formats like, um, say for example, meron kayong um, exchange of conversations like picture na may um, aso, no? There is, um, you have a picture of a dog na, na email, tapos mag-type kayo ng dog. So, hindi lang um, email or email messages ang madidisplay sa search, but rather yung picture din ng aso. So, yeah. So, kahit ito, um, this is a Google um, Google Docs na format, no? Uh, and I, I remember na meron akong in-include na text dito na hello. But you could not see it sa preview. No? Walang hello kahit isa dyan sa May 20. But when I click on that and the content really has hello. So aside from that, um, you can actually filter searches by this one, no? Itong may mga, itong parang may drop-down menu sa search mail. And there are a lot of options for you. So, say for example, this works well if meron kang hinahanap na message, no? And, um, sa dami ng message, messages nyo, and you could not locate it anymore. It has been ages ago. So, you can type, um, kaninong galing na email, sino ang recipient nun, subject, ano mga words na nandun. If you could still remember, walang ano, walang like certain text. So, pwede nyo, pwede nyo yung ma-filter. So, pwede din maklik kung, or matik kung may attachment or wala. And ang size. So, yeah, explore na lang. But you can do that. So, hindi lang sa basta-basta search lang, type kayo ng kahit ano dyan. But rather, Meron pang other um, options to filter searching. Okay?
Now, so, when you, so, dito tayo sa inbox, ha? so, lipat ako sa ibang, um, sa ibang email kasi medyo may confidentiality itong pag-mail na email. But, um, so, say for example, meron akong certain email, no, and when you right, right click on it, there is actually a lot of additional options that you can do. So you can move it to a tab. So what is a tab? So parang ito so no? Meron tayong primary inbox, merong social, merong promotions. So parang nakakategorize na ang mga messages natin. So you can move such email to this uh, category or to this tab or to this tab. Pwede when you right click on it. And later on, I will explain it further sa pagpunta natin sa gear settings. So you can move it to such tab, reply, reply all, you can forward. You can forward such um, email as an attachment. Pwede po yan para magsisave siya as local copy. So pwede po yan. Um, pwede nyong i-archive yung na um, explain ko na kanina. No? Pwede i-delete, pwede i-mark as unread muna. Pwedeng snooze. So, itong snooze, parang um, iseset nyo siya um, to another day or to another schedule. And once you set on it, when you have already picked your date and time, mawawala siya sa inbox nyo temporarily, but babalik siya as unread to the certain date and time na pinik nyo. So, pwede po yan. So, hindi naman sa mag alarm but rather, parang may pumasok na message. So say for example, if you are busy, no? I'll excuse ko muna to. Five minutes more, natutulog pa ako. So later ko na ikaw, ano, papansinin. So pwede din siyang i-add to task. So sa right um, side natin, no? Meron tayong mga task. So may mga to-do task. Pwede din yan. So dito sa email na account ko, hindi ko pa na-set, but pwede yan. Like, to do task nyo daily. So, pwede nyo din siyang, from this, um, when you right click on the message, pwede nyo din siyang i-set sa label nyo, yung parang um, folders natin sa Gmail. So, pwede nyo siyang i-categorize to the label. And ang mute, once again, I think there's no need for me to uh, explain. And open new window, so magbubukas ng separate window for that email. So, pwede yan. So, the same option sa um, when you right click on a certain message, no? Has also the same option sa top menu niya naman. So, pwede. Okay? Now, we can also add um, a star. Sige, ito. So, favorite ko kasi itong star eh. So, kasi when you um, star on an email, pwede na you um, you set it as something important, no? Like, alam nyo na babalikin nyo tong, babalikan nyo tong certain message na to. So, it's a star ko siya kasi meron tayong separate na um, label dito sa left, no? And a star. So, when when you click on a star, and it's as easy lang, no? Kasi nasa preview, meron star. When you click on that, um, lalabas na din siya sa mga starred messages, no? So, madali lang siyang balikan. But you are, you are not... Um, you are not only you are not only um, confined to one certain color. So for those na gumagamit ng star, pwede nyo siyang, pwede kayo magdagdag ng ibang colors actually. So nasa general sa na settings no. So you can um, add different stars. Yan. And you can um, you can change their order. Pwede nauna si orange, pwede mauna si purple, last si red. So once you save on it, so balik tayo sa inbox natin, no? And we have a certain um, message. Um, pwede kayong magpalit ng different color. So parang kinategorize nyo na na, um, ah, ito si purple, this is about work. Ito si yellow, this is about... Um, about family, ayan, pwede. And the order, di ba, when you click, when you toggle on it, follows the order kung anong sinet nyo sa settings, di ba? 
So, say for example, itong walang star, no? By default, hindi siya naka-star, but when you um, toggle it first, purple ang nauna. Kasi yun ang sinet nyo sa ating star setting. Yan, di ba? So, it follows kung anong order na sinet nyo. Okay? Sige, I think there is um, yeah, I think there is nothing more sa inbox na interface. So, um, we'll try to um, go now to the different settings. So, bago, bago lang din to in-employ no, ng um, Gmail na meron silang quick settings but um, for more than, for the longest time, wala tong quick settings. So, when you click on the settings, Didiretso na sa dito sa ating complete setting. So, we have different tabs for the settings. We have general, um, we have labels, we have inbox, we have accounts and import. And just like me kanina na may nakalimutan kung asa nakalagay si Teams, akala ko na sa general, it comes handy to key in control F lang. And so, of course, it will display kung anong sinesearch nyo. Are you searching for Teams? Yan, so mag display ang result. Are you searching for spam settings or um, reply? So, N. So, it comes handy to use control F. Okay? Um, so, of course, uh, dito tayo sa general. Um, we can choose the um, Gmail language. No? Um, it could be, of course, you can choose Kung anong language meron Filipino. Um, you can enable or disable input tool. Um, right to left editing support could be turned off or turned on, especially if meron tayo mga um, Japanese. Na ano, no? Japanese or, or some other nationalities na ang pagbasa nila is from the other side. So pwede yan. So, phone numbers, default country, so pwede yung natuos. So, maximum page size, so um, how many um, emails ang makikita nyo, like in one um, page, no? Pwede nyo siyang maset um, dito, how many messages do you want to show? Ako, maximum na para um, yan, yan. dami ko ng emails, no? 36. Okay. Um, once again, the undo send, when you try, when you want to um, give more time for you to cancel, pwede. So you can also choose the um, reply behavior. So um, when you reply to a certain message, um, is it um, automatic na reply lang sa to one certain um, recipient? Or do you want na reply also included ang mga naka -CC? So pwede yan. So, as you can see here, wala siyang naka-choose kasi this means that I can choose whether I reply or reply all. So, pwede po yan. Now, hover actions, you can um, enable hovering. So, when you right-click, um, lalabas ba itong mga options yung kaninang in-explain ko or not? So, pwede po yan. Now, sa images ito, um, do you allow um, to display external images, no? Most especially if may mga signatures kagaya po na gumagamit ng image, do you allow your um, inbox to display such image? Or do you, do, you, um, do, you want to, do you want Gmail to prompt you to, to show um, the image? So by default, um, naka-X ang mga images. Hindi pa naka-show, so pwede yan. So the um, dynamic email is when you want your um, um, email to be dynamic, like merong mga pictures or images or merong mga interactive content, pwede malagyan ng Google Forms ang email, ang, 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 ang Gmail nyo, pwede yan. Um, pwede na enable or disable. So, so summer, spelling, and auto correct, correct suggestion, correct na? Um, pumupula ang inyong ano ang inyong um, composition if misspelled 
or nagbibigay ng um, um, suggestions, grammar suggestions. So, smart compose, um, para to sa, ano, um, ayun nga, nagbibigay sa ng suggestions. So, di ba, when you type um, an, an email, no, I'll try it here. Okay, naka-disable siya sa um, kabilang email ko. But when you do smart compose, parang um, nag-predict nag na ang um, Gmail kung anong next nyo na um, next nyo na ino-compose. So, pwede po yan sa smart compose. Then, pwede nyo i-enable um, to or i-disable kasi nag, dito nag-employ ng smart uh, ng smart artificial intelligence din ang or ng AI ang Gmail so um, parang ano binabasa na niya kung, kung how how you write your um, how you, how you write your or how you compose your email so do you prefer na attach attach here with or the file or do you prefer na attached or the file so yan ang gamit ng smart compose personalization. So it is according to your um, to how you compose your image. So experimental access um, this is when you um, allow uh, Google to um, to have you as or to have you test their um, um, their features. So when you um, enroll to this then you allow email uh, Gmail to um, um, let you experience mga an an ano yes, unpublished na Gmail features. So they want to test it with you. So you can enable it if you want to join. So conversation view is um, let me see. Ah, okay, may ano kasi may mga <laughs> confidential. Uh, messages but when you enable conversation view um parang a certain email thread um can be shown or can be seen like nag reply na dito si ano or ito na ang message na um pwede yan sa conversation view but if you um choose conversation view of um hindi siya mag group together ang mga messages like separate a message for this, although it belongs to the same subject. So, yun po. Now, not just, um, for the not just, um, dito nag employ din ng AI ang um, Gmail, wherein if there are, if Gmail sees it na important ang messages nyo, especially if my schedule or my appointment and you have not um, attended to it, um, hindi nyo ni reply or hindi nyo na open or whatever, pwede siyang bumalik sa top ng inbox nyo or ng email nyo when you turn this on. So, although naka-turn on to by default. Now, itong smart reply, um, ito yung parang, how do you call it? Para siyang um, meron ng pre, um, predefined na replies sa certain emails just like, um, say for example, may nag-email sa inyo ng good morning. Tapos sa baba niya, um, sa baba ng inbox, meron lalabas na mga tabs like good morning to or hello or how are you, how was your day. Yan po ang smart reply. Meron ng predefined options to reply immediately. Okay. Now, preview pane, ito yung, um, ah, okay, preview pane, ito yung, nakita nyo to naka, um, merong nakabold, let's say nakabold, then merong hindi nakabold, no? So, yan ang preview. So, once you click on it, and um, it will, um, depending on how many seconds you have um, set it, so, mawawala na ang, um, bold niya. Okay? 
desktop notifications um, do you want um, gmail to give you a mail notification sa desktop nyo may nagsend sa inyo lalabas i think sa bottom part um pwede yan when you allow it sa desktop notification so by the way no um pwede pala kayong ano um pwede kayong di ba um, having a, a Gmail is synonymous to having um, a Google Drive, diba? For every Gmail, you have your Google Drive. You can actually, although ibang laptop kasi ang gamit ko, but sa kabilang laptop, I have, I have a separate drive. It's called Drive G. And it is synchronized with my Google Drive. So para siyang naging local copy ng, um, ng aking Google Drive na nakalagay sa cloud. So, if I do changes um, sa Google Drive ko, sa local ko, pwede din sa, sa or nag, nag uh, reflect din ang changes niya sa Google Drive. So, if you want, to have that kind of um, So have that kind of um parang technique no para sang ganito okay since nasa kabilang laptop po kasi hindi ko mapakita but para sang ganito there is a separate drive in your computer na it has um it is synchronized with your Google Drive na file so pwede yang ma-test so just search for file stream so i have explained that sa Google Drive na um webinar ko and you can revisit or rewatch sa uh, YouTube channel ko po. Yay! Plug plug din. Okay? Um itong stars um I have already um explained this. You can set your keyboard shortcuts. There are actually a lot of keyboard shortcuts you can do. Na mga control Z niyo na reset din yan sa Gmail pwede or you can um turn it off or on pwede din sa. Okay? I think um Yeah, I think um, understandable ng iba dito sa general. But if in case, meron din tayong vacation responder, no? Or auto responder. So say for example, you are on leave or um, you are out and about. So, and you want, uh, when someone um, sends you an email, meron tayong auto reply or auto response. So pwede yan dito sa vacation responder. You can set when is the first day, when is the last day. So you can... Um, you can pass on template so you can set okay so please 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 if you have changes um, please don't forget to um, to press the save changes or to click on the save changes kasi baka uh, mag wonder kayo na ang dami yun ang, um, ang dami yun ang changes tapos bumalik kayo sa inbox or hindi nag reflect yung changes nyo it might be because um, hindi nyo na-click and save changes. Okay? So these are the labels. So this is for um, ito yung nakawento ko na yung categories. So you can also um, um, you can choose which um, inbox type um, appearance important ba dapat mauna ang um, uh, unread ba? Ang start ba? So, um, you can choose. Sa defed.gov.ph and dict.gov.ph, I think walang, ano, walang category for social, for promotion. Okay. So, reading pain, this is the one I mentioned. So, itong importance marker, so, ang ano din, ang um, Gmail, parang nag-employ din sila ng AI dito, if they think that your um your such email in your inbox is important nag ano sa may parang marker ay na highlighted katabi ng um review nyo just like this one no yan important sa maybe because there is an attachment or there are certain text na you have to respond so gmail employs um an ai okay so um 
Meron din tayong filtered email wherein you can override or don't override filters. So, um, do you want your filtered emails to appear sa inbox? Pwede din po yan. Okay. Then itong accounts and import, um, you can actually set um, a certain email address to send or to uh, um, use your um, email in your behalf. So let's try. So it allows you to um, to set um, a certain um, email na pwede ka din mag-send in their behalf. But of course, there must be confirmation from there. And let's try my own personal It will send, it will ask to send a verification. And when I go back to my um, inbox, so there is a request na ina allow mo yung certain um, uh, certain na ano. Na email to do so. Pwede po yan. So let me refresh. So it's, as you can see, when I compose now a message, meron ng from, no? And you can choose, um, is it through your email or from the email na um, in a, uh, in enroll mo? So, meron siyang from na option. So, that's one thing. Okay. So, let's go back to the settings. Yeah. And so, um, you can also import, you can also open um, other um, email accounts that are not from Gmail with this interface. Pwede din po yan through this um, part. Okay. You can also check um, mail from other accounts, but hindi na lang po natin ito testing, no? Kasi unlike sa um, send mail as na um, na functionality, this takes time around 30 minutes minimum to reflect. Okay? Also this one, it's on grant access to your account. Okay? If you want to add an additional storage, um, pwede, pwede din po yan. If you want to purchase, kung kulang ang 15 gig, then pwede din po yan. So, yeah, ito pala ang mga plan nila. At meron pang more options. 20 terabytes, 30. Okay, so it's cheap lang. It's 89 pesos per month ang 100 gig na option. Okay? And if you want to change your password, other Google account settings, nasa top po sa ng accounts and import. Okay? So, ayan po. Madaming nagtatanong kung pwede bang ma-block ang mga um, nagsasend ng spam or email. Pwede po. Dito sa filters and block address na tab sa settings. So I think um, so um, you can actually from from the message you know from a certain message. So say for example, ito, um, you can actually block immediately by going to that certain message and sa three dots menu niya na, no? more, you can block him or her na immediately. So, when you report spam, parang, um, you report lang sa spam, but if you want na hindi na makatanggap ng messages from that certain person, then yung block. And you can find all those other blocked accounts doon sa um, 
dito na tab. Then you can actually um, filter. You can create a new filter for all other incoming mail. So mayroong messages na about this and about that and you don't want to re receive, then pwede yan by creating a new filter. Okay? So this one, this tab, hindi ko na lang to i-explain kasi masyadong madugo itong POP and IMAP. So meron tayong beginners and this might be a headache, no? Sa inyo. Kasi masyadong um, madugo ang pag-explain but there's no need um, for us to modify naman in this um, in this part. So sa add-ons, madami po. Um, uh, just like sa Google Forms, no, sa mga naka na ng Google Forms, meron ding add-ons tayo for Gmail. So, um, say for example, um, meron tayong, by default, no, wala tayong um, uh, Zoom na um, option or menu um, for video conference dito sa um, Gmail natin or sa mga responses natin. Pwede tayo mag-add ng Zoom na add-on. So, merong iba free, may iba na um, for sale. So, you can um, do so. You can add add-ons by going here. Na tab, add-ons tab. So, chat and meet. So, sa hangout. So, ah, wala na palang hangout na yan. So, pwede yan. Pwede nyo enable or disable. Okay. Um, sige, dito tayo sa advanced. Um, sige. Um, sa, adva um, sa advanced na menu, itong auto advanced, first, um, you can enable or disable it. And um, when you, um, when you uh, modify this, you can actually choose what happens um, to your inbox after kayo mag-delete or mag-archive or mag-mute. Um, pupunta ba sa previous conversation or sa next conversation? So, you can do so dito sa auto advance. Tapos sa templates, um, pwede nyo din yung i-enable and once you, once you enable your template and you save changes, mm -mm. Once you compose na, no, you can actually, um, say for example, meron kang, hi, that's noted, na uh, template. Ayan, mali, ah, uh, character. So, pwede nyo yung i-save as a new template. So, you can save that as draft, to save as new template. So, say for example, this is my default, um, template. So once you already have such kind of template, so once you reply now to um to another message, you can choose the template that you want. So dito pa rin. So pili na kayo, di ba? Meron tayong default na template na sinib kanina. So i-click nyo na lang yan sa 3 dot menu and you now have your auto um reply. Uh -oh. So, parang mas maganda pa rin yung copy-paste na. <laughs> but that's your own preference. But that's possible, ang template. So, para din sa yung autoresponder or vacation responder, pwede din yan. Parang, parang, parang ganun ang sense ng um, template natin. So, custom keyboard shortcut, um, yan yung, um, you can customize your own keyboard shortcut. So, meron tayong default um, um, shortcut like control Z, e undo, but you can customize your own. Pwede po yan. So right side chat, um, naka-disable siya, but if you could see my chat na box na no, dito siya sa left, but when you enable that, pwede siya sa right na pumunta. That's like this one. Yan, yeah, nasa right side po siya. Yung ko dito sa left. So pwede niyo po yung i-modify that. So itong unread, unread message icon, sige po ha, um, when I enable this, Yan. Ano pong makikita yung difference ngayon? Like for this um, email interface and this email interface. Any answer? Um, oh, 
Once again, I in enable ko ang unread message icon. Ay, mukha hindi itong email na to, but this one. So, what happens is, kung makikita nyo dito, no? no meron, meron na siyang parang digit. That means na ilan ang mga unread messages nyo dito sa um, icon sa taas. At compared sa dito na hindi naka-enable, so wala sa, so dito nagkikita kung ilan pa ang unread messages nyo. So, pwede yan. Once again, dito sa unread messages. Unread message icon sa advanced. Okay? Sa offline naman, when you enable offline, so um, parang um, nagsisave ng local copy sa mga emails nyo dyan sa local PC nyo. Tapos may internet connection. So um, pwede pa rin. But once you already connect with the um, internet, then uh, magsisync na kung ano nakasave naka sa local um, local PC nyo, magsisync siya doon sa inyong um, cloud storage ng din. And set things, tapos na. So, that's it. Um, have I missed one? I think that's it. For now, masyado bang mabilis? Hello, Sir Josh. Yes, Mrs. Ako, thank you so much for that. Uh, uh, done na po ba tayo? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay na, Mrs. Uh, actually, uh, we've learned a lot. Marami akong uh, takeaways, di ba? That we can undo, di ba? If we send out messages, pwede, na, pwede pala natin undo siya, di ba? Uh, we can set it to particular seconds, uh, until 30 seconds, I guess. So at least, uh, if ever we... We will send out emails na parang mayroon tayong mali at study pa natin maan dito. So, uh, that's one of my greatest takeaways. So, grabe ang email. Uh, very, very uh, useful, di ba? Especially sa ating mga teachers, right? Uh, right now, uh, uh, it, said, it has been said earlier that for the depth ed email, unlimited po stories natin. So, grabe, amazing. Hopefully, we could utilize that. And by that, Sir Josh, we have questions po on board. Go, sige po. Go ahead. Apo, so, we have from... Okay. Uh, from Maria Patricia Angelica Maravilla. As he said... Sir, if we change settings in Gmail using laptop or desktop, will it automatically reflect or be the same in our mobile? Ay, hindi po. Um, magkaiba po siyang devices. Uh, although, um, iba kasi ang interface sa mobile, iba din sa, um, sa desktop. So, hindi po siya mag-reflect. Okay, thank you. Mm. You have another uh, from uh, ang suki natin sa mga webinars kay Sir Arnel Guste sabi niya, question po may option po ba to notify delivery or message that has been read by recipient? Ano po yun ulit? Ah, my sorry. option My option, option po ba to notify delivery or message that has been read by recipient? Uh, Yes, meron po. Oo. Ano sa parang um, you can do so by um, clicking sa reply receipt. I think oh, no, mukhang hindi ko yan na-mention kanina. Response receipt. I'm, I'm hovering it now, Ms. Heza. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, sure. Siya. But pwede sa, pwede sa. Uh, other is. Oo. Uh -huh. Response receipt Gmail. I rem if I could remember it right, response receipt sa wherein, just like, hindi lang sa ano, hindi lang sa, sa Gmail na functionality, it is also the same with other um, emails, just like Outlook, gumagamit din ng, ako ng Outlook dati. And I can, um, um, I can ask for a confirmation from my recipient niya, na nabasa niya na ang uh, message niya or ang message na sinend ko. So, pwede sa It's not only in Gmail. So, um, nasa ano sa Sa Compose, no? 
Ah, uh, nasa akin pa ba? Ang um, uh, hindi na sa akin sa center but nasa compose siya uh, and then um pwedeng uh, i-click yung re request read receipt. Alright, so meron. Okay, this one. Meron na. We have another po from uh Annaline Alegre. How to insert personalized picture in signature where no one can download or copy it? Hi, um the um when you um, include kasi a signature, it makes your signature public na. So there is no um, functionality na um, hindi pwedeng makapi or what ang signature mo. So, yun. Okay, so so although, although I have not searched no, if there is a certain add-on, but by default, public sa ang signature mo. Like personalized image. All right, I have still lots of questions here. Um, we have from Facebook Live from Vicky Malikizon. Uh, she said, how many mails are retained in our inbox? Are they automatically deleted? Is a certain number of mails is the key? Kung ilan ang storage ng ano mo, ng, or capacity ng storage mo, then that's the um, same amount, right? But I think for email, that's only kilobytes lang naman eh. But once you put your messages into trash, like you delete it, it will stay there for around 30 days. And if you don't do action after 30 days, um, automatically madidelete na sa yung nasa trash. But for all other messages like the inbox, it will stay there forever <laughs> as long as Google is online. Uh, mm -hmm. So sir, I have uh, another one from uh, Al Cameron Avila. Uh, paano po matanggal ang mga spam messages sa Gmail, sir? Uh, yun, yung nasa settings na in-explain ko kanina. I think nabasa ko yung, um, yung question na yan. No? <laughs> well, I, um, I was still not discussing dun sa area. But doon sa, ano, sa, um, doon sa um, filters and block addresses na tab sa settings, doon sa. Okay. Right. Spam, filtered um, messages. So there's a way of uh, ako baga matangga yung mga spam mm. messages natin. Uh, well, you 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 employ um, a certain action. Hindi sa parang automatic. Mm. Uh, okay. So you have so, to enable. Uh, let's go to our last three questions, sir. Um, we have here from the now. Uh, she said, Sir, meron po ba talagang pagkakataon na hindi matanggap ng recipient yung email kahit na nasend na? Yes, meron. Especially if puno ng storage ng recipient. That's one. And I think yan lang nakikita ko. <laughs> but um, pwede din na, na tinake ng Gmail as spam message yung sinend mo. So, um, actually, natanggap din yun ng recipient but hindi sa kanyang inbox but rather sa spam folder. So, pwede din yan. But nevertheless, um, Gmail actually, um, Gmail has an auto mailer na response. No? Like, if hindi, na, hindi niya na-send yung message nyo, nag-notify ng separate uh, message ang Gmail na hindi ito na-send because of this reason. Very like reasons na the recipient's um, inbox is full, kaya hindi na makatanggap. So, yun. So, meron talagang reasons na pwede siyang hindi matanggap ng recipient, but Gmail explains the reason why hindi siya natanggap. So, sir, uh, last uh, two. Uh, from Lili Muskera, uh, is possible po ba na pwedeng mahak ang Gmail account? Well, so far, never pa nangyari. That's why it's one of the um, most trusted brands, kahit ang government. So, hindi. So, tendency is parang personal negligence lang yan. Like, um, nag-log in kayo sa um, internet cafe perhaps, or in a different PC, hindi nyo na-log out. So, um, ganong mga instances. But, yun nga, yung sa opening natin, no, nag, nag, nagturo ako ng two... Um, two-factor verification or two-step verification. So that's one way of eliminating such na hacking. So I hope um, everyone um, follows is ready. Pero in terms 
terms of hacking, I think there's none so far na extreme. Personal negligence lang ang meron ni Hazel. And okay. our... Yes, sir. Um, sir Josh, I have your feedback from one of our uh, participants of WebEx, from Edelina Tumbaga. Uh, she said, thank you, Sir Josh. I learned a lot. I'm not very familiar with the Gmail. I'm just using it for office messages. But now I am enlightened and enjoyed. So, yes, congratulations. Yes. Thank you so much, Sir Josh, Josh for the very insightful webinar. Uh, ako din, mas uh, nagkaroon pa ako ng additional knowledge, diba, on how to use it ilang siya pang... Uh, email send, read inbox lang, di ba? So, marami siyang features pala na, na pwedeng magamit not only yung mga mga government employees, but of course yung mga teachers din natin na nanonood, di ba? Uh, so, let's explore, let's use uh, kung anong meron ng Gmail. And that was a very comprehensive uh, webinar, uh, Sir Joshua. Thank you so much. Um, I think we've covered most of our questions. Actually, kulang na po yung time natin, but I'm sure that we've learned a lot, tama po ba, participants? So, I'm sure of that, uh, na uh, we've learned uh, something new, uh, uh, tips, techniques, and st strategies, then, diba? how to use uh, Gmail. And, of course, since we are done, yeah, hey, congratulations. Yay, yeah, yeah, on time ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, sir, um, I'm going to promote first, diba? mga upcoming webinars kasi kanina maraming nagtatanong what are the webinars uh, na, na upcoming po na ibibigay na free uh, ng DICC device structure too. So tomorrow uh, for those who are interested uh, we have a free webinar on introduction to artificial intelligence uh, that will be on uh, at 1 p.m. po si Sir Ralph Vincent Regalado yung speaker natin. Um, and another po for July 1, 2020, at 10 a.m., we have the 4RI Business Journey in the Pandemic Era. Uh, of course, uh, brought to you by the ICT Visit 2, come for and the Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry. So, ang um, speaker natin dyan ay si Sir Virgilio Nunoy G. Estileta. All right, so please, please register po. Register now. Uh, and we have another webinar, very interesting, especially uh, in this new normal book, entitled How to Work Guiding and Trip Advising Work Under the New Normal. So this will be in July 2, 2020 at 8.30 a.m. We have uh, the director of DOT, uh, Department of Tourism and Region 8, the director Karina Rosa Chiopez. Joined by Director Leo Secriano L. Arbison, the junior of DICC. We also have Director Shelly Marchamano, the regional director of Department of Tourism, uh, Region 7. We also have Mr. Mano del Rosario and Ms. C. Giguba of Cebu Association and Sir Guy. So, so uh, please register uh, for this free webinar. And of course, we have another a webinar on data protection for you and your business. What you need to know uh, that will be on July 3 at 2 p.m. In speaker happen, I see Mr. Robert, Robert Arqueza. Right? And of course, Iba, um, we have a Startup Thursday. So this is a webinar series every Thursday. We have a free webinar. So we are just done. No last Thursday po. We have the Learning to Earning with Ms. Luis Fernandez Ruiz. Then this Thursday naman, we have Arm Yourself Against Cyber Attack. So just follow lang po yung Facebook page natin. Uh, we have part up Thursday to webinar series. Right? Uh, and also, John. Uh -huh. um, Sir Joshua, do you have any other announcements po? before I proceed to the next part? Uh, wala na ni Sayis, go ahead. Okay. Ay, ano hala? <laughs> Pambansang a tech talk with Pambansang IT guy, YouTube. <laughs> yes, so please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of uh, Joshua Duman. Uh, tech talk uh, with the Pambansang IT guy. So if you're sure na, and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, I actually, actually, Ms. Hayes, I will announce it from there sa, um, um, sa YouTube channel kung how they will receive their certificate for this webinar. All right. 
Okay, so they really need to subscribe, right? <laughs> Okay, so for those who are waiting, ito po yung post evaluation link natin. Please type in correctly, case-sensitive po ito, http column forward slash forward slash tiny dot cc slash gmail eval. All right, so please copy this or screenshot yun na. So no more quiz, right? Wala tayong quiz ngayon. Just visit the evaluation link. This link will close after one hour. So, 5 p.m. for today, June 29, 2020, this will be closed. All right. So, again, 5 p.m. of June 29, ito po yung deadline ng link natin. This will expire or this will be closed. All right. Make sure to input your correct name and, of course, a valid or a working email address. Okay. Presentation and recording will be sent along with your certificate. Right. I will try to ano, I, sorry Miss Chris. I will try to create um a presentation for summary for today's webinar and maybe send to them. All right. After, so, uh, okay, so please copy this link. Don't forget and please don't forget not to close it on five. Okay. And of course, we would like to give recognition to ating resource person, ang someone siyang IT guy natin. This is uh, ika-apat na niya ng webinar, webinar series. So, uh, a certificate of appreciation is given to our resource person, Joshua Eliazar P. Duman, for sharing his time, talent, and expertise as a resource teacher during one of the hashtag learn to webinar series conducted by the DICT this the topic learn to maximize Gmail conducted on June 29, 2020. Digitally signed by Director Leo Cipriano L. Arvis from the Junior. Congratulations, uh, Sir Joshua. Thank you, Ms. Hayes. Not to praise no one. Thank you for sharing your expertise to us. Welcome, sir. And welcome, welcome, and thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Hayes. Uh, welcome, sir, and of course, to the organizing team. Uh, of this webinar, I would like to thank for uh, this. Ito yung mga tao behind the scenes. So we have Sir Joshua Aduman, George Michael Picardal, your truly Hazel Martinez, Joshua Corona, Engineer Bergan Dabuit, Engineer Duke Renz Penaranda, and of course, um, uh, Engineer Luz. Uh, we also have the DIP to Region 7 and 8 staff, and of course, Director Leo Cipriano L. Arbis Lundgren. I thank you so much, Dagham Salamat. And of course, uh, before we end our very productive webin webinar, we would like to give recognition, of course, and appreciation to mga participants natin. Uh, maraming salamat for attending, diba? So walang sawang uh, pagsubaybay sa ating mga webinar. Maraming salamat. A heart of gratitude po to you. We appreciate your time and effort being with us. And indeed, it was a very fruitful day. Thank you, everyone. Daghang salamat. Maraming salamat po. Congratulations for the successful webinar. We appreciate you being here. Thanks again for joining us today. And we will see you all next time. Once again, this, is, this has been your moderator for the day, Hazel Martinez. Keep safe, stay healthy, and God bless. Maraming salamat po. And to God be all the highest glory.